Well, I'll do that, Chums, as I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm on a lush planet that has storms mm, kind of frequently, and I'm hoping to catch all the storm and lush fish on this planet. Yeah, well, lush fish, basically. Yeah, so let's, let's jump on into game, shall we? Okay, Chums, well, as you can see, I'm wearing the No Man's Sky Assistant app merch. We've got the No Man's Sky Assistant app right here hold on i need to go a bit bigger on the screen again don't i so i'm going to be going for the colossal fish first the largest of these fishies so i need to have a depth of at least 70 u's so i'm going to be going after those there's a couple in a day but most of these are well actually there's one that's just day only and then there's the rest of any time pretty much so let's get into this shall we giant Sunray, pretty cool. Okay, anyway, let's uh, jump on over and let's start fishing for those four then. Okay, so I need to go on over to this landing pad over here that I've built, which is 70 U's deep. Oh, I fell in it. <laughs> That's my fishing hole. Right, so I want my angler's rig. Uh, let's have a look what bait we've got on here already. We've got the bionic law. That's what I want. And I can see my little radials going off in the water there. And away we go. Let's see what fish we get. I've got this on auto catch. I've also put it on creative so I can just sit back, chillax, and uh, do very little, to be honest, and catch these fishermen fish fish. Right, so while it's doing that, I'm going to bring back up Lush, go into size, Colossal. I'm looking to see if any of these are legendary. Yes. This one is called the Bly... The... Oh, it's, it's got a strange name. There you go. Blind Titanicore. Hopefully we can catch that one. He's a rare. And what else have we got? Okay, we've got, we got a Whispering Bonefish. Not the, what we wanted, but... Uh, oh, no, I've cast it too far out there. I'll have to readjust that in a moment. Is there any other legendaries? Colossal Moss. Let's have a look at him. No, he's he's an epic. He's an epic. Cool. Now, we, also, we already know that the Stingray is just a... He's a, is not all that... Special. Special is uncommon. And then we've got this one, a common eel. Yeah. Okay, right. So we're using this awesome boat at the moment. Let's see what else we can catch inside this little hole. Now, sometimes it tells you the depth in the lower left corner, and other times it doesn't. Like right now, it's not telling me the depth that I'm at. But I've already swum to the bottom of this, so I know that it's 70 U's. And uh, I'll let you know if I catch any of those four fish. Okay, so hopefully we'll reconvene in a moment. But for now, let's just see what I pull out on this one catch. And we'll see how we get started, shall we? Come on. Oh, it feels like it could be a big one. It's going to at least be large. Oh, we've got a giant ray. Colossal aquatic. Found in many... Oh, okay, it's not the one that I was after. I don't think, anyway. Hmm. Fair enough. Cool, yeah. Well, let's just uh, carry on fishing then. Sweet. Let's get into it. Well, we've got one. We've got the epic already. We've got the colossal moss back. Freaking awesome. Okay. Yeah. And now we've caught the right one. This is the right manta ray that I was after. The colossal aquatic. Yep. Yeah, brilliant on lush. Perfect. So we've got two of the colossals now. Okay, well, we just caught a medium-sized deep water angler. And you can see here, this is to lush climates. So although it's not in the colossal range, it is one that I needed to catch, so that's pretty darn freaking epic. It's a legendary. It's not the legendary I wanted. It's another dragonfish. I've got a fair few dragonfish now. Pretty cool. Okay, well, I just caught a large. Daylight hours, but it's for lush. So, yeah, I'm, I guess I need this one, too. It's not the colossal that I'm after. I'm after the common and also the legendary so i might have to take bait off to get the common but i'm going for the legendary first got myself a sun basker large and it's rare pretty nice as a heads up people if you are casting and you're not seeing the depth just press left on your d-pad and there you go there's a depth right there but yes lovely This is another lush, and it's common. Only found at night. Medium-sized, wandering kelp fin. There you go. 
Well, Jumps, I've just caught something pretty darn rare. It's a Thunderfin. Rare fish, colossal aquatic creature, found on many different habitats. Oh, dang, it's not even freaking lush, is it? Oh, well, it's a Thunderfin. It's only caught in storms. Lovely. You can see in the bottom left corner that it's actually flashing in red. Whenever it's flashing in red, if you're in creative mode, then you know that there's a freaking storm on. So hopefully I might catch some storm related lush fish if I'm super lucky, fingers crossed. And I'm still using the bionic lure. Now I did start off with 500 of these. I'm down to 364 and I still haven't caught that legendary. So that gives you an idea of how long I've been doing this. There we go, we've got another colossal moss back while we've been watching, which uh, yeah, pretty cool fish, but it's not the one I'm after. Like no, yes, we're still fishing at about 74 U's. This is the deepest I can find on this planet. I have got other planets where I've gone up to 90 and then you catch even more colossal fish. I have made a lovely little chart, which I'll probably put up at some point during this video, probably right now on the screen to show you the depths and also the chances that I'm finding for fish. Uh, something I put together myself in Photoshop. Quite proud of that, but yes, it's a little mondo. Well, this is an unusual one. It's uncommon, small. I'm fishing at 70 U's. It shouldn't happen. I really wish Hello Games would narrow the bandwidth of what you can and can't find at different depths and with what baits you're using. I mean, casting over 200 times to get a legendary is a little bit excessive, isn't it? It's a bit excessive. I got really excited again. I saw a legendary pop up. Nope, it's another freaking dragonfish. I mean... It's legendary, I should be happy, but oh, I've been at this for a while now, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Down to 350 bionic baits, that gives you an idea. Okay, I think I've caught a couple of these now and I just ignored them. <laughs> but no, look, it's lush. Lush and on humid planet, so yeah, and it's uncommon. Jungle redfin. I think I might have caught this on another planet. It just, it just seemed really uncommon to me. <laughs> cool. Okay, jumps just as a little mid segue. These are my colossals that I've caught so far. So I've caught two of the colossals. I've caught two of the larges. And I've caught a couple of the medium sized. Well, a few, but three of them. And then on smalls, I've caught two. So yeah, a little bit interesting. But I have got nine of these. So I have caught quite a lot of colossals. Not too bad going, to be fair. But anyways, I'm going to get back into it and continue fishing. I've still got to get the legendary and an uncommon inside of this pool. So here we go. Back at it. Oh, and um, yeah, I have caught a heck of a lot more fish. These are all the fish that aren't related to lush. And I've caught loads of them, as you can see right there. Freaking mental. So yeah, I'm down to 345 bionic baits now. What have we got here? Large! Oh, brilliant! Whispering Bonefish. I think I may already have a Whispering Bonefish. Let's just double check. Whispering Bonefish. No. Oh, okay. Well, where'd he go then? It's not there. Well, that's bizarre. Found it. It's down under here because it's, it's not related to Lush. I really wish that the biomes were biome locked. And you know all these other fish that say found across the galaxy or whatever, these ones here. It'd be nice if they were found on, you know, like the exotic -y type planets that haven't got a set biome per se. You know, like the haunted emerald green or whatever they're called. You know, those sort of planets that still have water, but they don't really have a designated biome. Or maybe the infested planets and stuff like that. All the obscure planets, I wish that these appeared in there. And if they are to appear inside of fixed biomes like lush ones, extremely, extremely rare, you know? Just so you are catching the ones that are biome specific more often, because the amount that you're catching that are not, it's just, it's just cannon fodder. Sweetwater minnow looks very much like that bonefish from the actual picture. It's in lush and humid, uncommon. Have I actually caught one of those? No, this is new, so it goes into my small pile. Lovely, jubbly. Haka! Jumps! Well, I've just caught a lush legendary. It's called the Reef Guardian, but it's large. It's not the colossal I was after, but this is good. Haka! We got one. Lovely, jubbly. Haka! Sweet. Let's carry on. Well, I don't think I've got this one either. Flourishing 
Galfish. Now, I'm fishing at 74 U's, and I am catching quite a lot of large fish, including that super rare legendary one that we just caught momentarily ago. So I've nearly completed the large fish. I'm wondering whether I need to get myself up to 80 or 90 U's. The only trouble is bedrock on this planet in the water area where I've built this lovely base seems to be limited to 70 U's at its deepest. So I, maybe I need to swim further out to sea and look for an even deeper area so I can catch this legendary. Because, yeah, it, I'm hammering these things and I'm not getting it. The only legendary I have got was a large okay might have to relocate okay so what i've done is i've scanned for a submerged relic using my little nautilus now as you know there's things buried underneath these i'm already at 70 use so i should be able to use my terrain manipulator and maybe dig down that little bit deeper so let's have a look see if i can get all the way down to 90 use yeah here we go 90 years so that seems to work searching for a submerged relic and um, i'm going to be building a base here then people okay cool here and um means that people might not be able to dig up these chests underneath it but you know lovely jubbly it, it helps me massively cool here so let's uh, put down the old base computer power, and i'm going to be relocating my base here and i'm going to be building here to try and get that colossal fish Okay, let's check my 90 depth fishing hole. Oh, it says it's 71 for some reason. Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to have to do is dive down there with my terrain manipulator and make sure it's all dug out. Okay, so let's make this nice and big. Let's swim all the way down to the bottom and make sure that it's actually registered as the full 90. So, yeah, this is something that you have to do as well just to make sure everything's all good and swimmingly awesome okay here we go and there we go there's a little bit of terrain still there yep yeah, here we go all the way down all the way down and we've hit 95 views in depth okay i'm going to swim back up and do the same thing again until i get all the way out to the top okay i'll see you when i get back to the surface brilliant say eh? okay right well let's uh, give that a try again with my lovely angler's rod and uh yeah there we are we've got the ripples boom and what's it at now 97 use deep okay well hopefully we've got a better chance of catching that colossal legendary fish here we'll see how long this goes for people well i got another legendary it's medium freaking sized out of a 90 hole and this is across all different galaxies i've got loads of these I've just got another legendary. It's a singing snail. And it's small. And it's out of a 90 depth hole. This just feels like complete random numbers now. What made sense before this update doesn't make sense now. Or at least I'm not finding it is anyway. Gums, I've just caught another legendary. This one is medium sized. And I'm fishing at 90 use in depth is a legendary catch though so this is another one that would have been difficult to catch on this planet and i've caught it at 90 depth bizarre very bizarre indeed but yet i'm glad i got it but it should have been at something around that one should have been around 50 use in depth so the deeper you go the larger the colossal sizes of fish that you're supposed to find and um i'm finding them at all depths at the moment it's really weird this update seems to have thrown my logical reasoning in fishing out of the window okay the very next fish i caught was this one the lurker legendary fish it is colossal it is legendary but it's found across all different habitats now if we removed all these different habitats maybe i would have got the colossal legendary i'm actually after a little bit sooner it's out there people it's out there somewhere got another reef guardian large this was at 90 five views though i'd like to have seen a legendary colossal that's what i'm fishing for it's not what i'm getting the only thing i can think chumps is the app although it's been updated and it's supposed to show storms i don't think it's showing the full dialogue box for these fish 
So I'm wondering whether it's a storm fish. Now the storms on this planet are frequent, but they're not super frequent. And this is not an activated planet. It's got magnetized, but it's not activated. So I think maybe I should relocate to a storm based planet and see if I have any better luck. Okay, Johns, well, I found a viridescent planet. It doesn't seem to have a massive ocean, but it does have water. So hopefully I can find something of a large depth. We'll go and have a look, see. There are a few others inside of here, but it's an uh, idiot. Mm, don't even know what that is. But yeah, anyway, going to have a little look, see, see what I can find here. So from the galactic map, all I did was search for sort of like purple star systems, the blue ones basically activated idiom. Found one that had a planet that had water and it's lush and then i've searched for an underwater ruin using my nautilus sort of um, radar because that puts it at 70 u's anyway as a normal depth and then you should be able to use your terrain manipulator and dig down a further load of views and get all the way down to the 90 depth for the colossal fish so we go. In fact, this one is over a hundred U's deep. This is my deepest ocean that I've ever found. Okay, brilliant. Eh? Okay, now I need to rebuild my base here, and we'll see if that makes any difference at all. Go. Cool. I'll see you when I've built my base. Okay, chums. I'm now fishing at a depth of 110 U's. I put 100 on it, but yeah, this should get me my colossal fish. And as you can see here, it's flashing red pretty much the whole time. It's pretty much non-stop storms on this planet. I'm down to 271 on the bionic laws as well. So yeah, doing fairly good. Okay, we've got, just got a blue ribbon tail at 100 depth. It's a medium-sized fish. But it is for humid planets, so it's one extra to add to the actual roster, isn't it? I think, anyway. I don't think I've caught one of those, have I? Nope. And it's a medium size, so we can go over here. I think I'm doing well on all these other bundles. I just need the legendary Colossal. Now, it looks like I've got another large fish on the hook right now. I don't think that's Colossal. Gums. Well, I'm using the legendary bait. I, don't, I thought I was going to have to take the bait off the line to catch this one. This is the common one. This is the colossal common. Brilliant. Well, I got him anyway. Awesome. So, yeah, we're getting good now. We only need the legendary. That's the only colossal that we're missing now is the colossal legendary. So let's move that over there. Boom. I'll, yeah, I'll stick him there. Sweet. We've got the colossal. These are our larges. Come on. Be something awesome. Be something awesome. It looks like another colossal. Oh, we, we got two of those in a row. <laughs> it's like waiting for buses. Okay, I'll just call this medium sized, clear water skipper, common, daylight hours. I caught it during a storm at a depth of 109 U's. I don't think I've got one of those, so I think that's quite new too. Yep, common, medium sized. These are medium sized here. There we go. We're doing pretty darn good on the medium sized fishes okay got real no explanation for this one um it's small <laughs> and there's a found it at 100 u's at depth but yeah it's a legendary and it's on lush so this would have been a hard one to catch uh wasn't in a storm either so there we go a creature of dreams only visible where the light refracts through the soft perfect jelly very nice. Got that one too. So now, I'd imagine that's looking pretty darn swish, isn't it? So there you go. There's a small one. Add that over there. So there's two small jellies on Lush. One of them happens to be a legendary. Cool. Still after this colossal legendary. Let's hope we get lucky. Don't know whether I've caught this one or not. Large, common... And it's the flourishing shale fish. Let's just cast back in. Let's go see if I have caught one of them before. Mm, dum dum dum. Large. Ah, oh, yeah, I have. I've got quite a few of those. So I think it is just this legendary fish I've got to freaking catch. And maybe one or two over here. Maybe one or two there. I don't know. We'll see. 
Well, chums, as you can see, my bionic baits now are on 202. I started on 500, so I'm well over halfway through my bait as a full stack. Granted, I've only just moved to this planet, and I moved to this planet around the 270 mark, so I've done 70-odd 70, 70 casts now. It looks like I've got a colossal fish on. And it's a giant ray. Very nice, that's not what I'm after, though. Heck no. Well, chums, this is a turn up to the books. I thought I would have had to go and fish a hole that's only 25 years deep with no bait to catch this guy. Yeah, it's another one on the lush, and it's quite a difficult one to come across, and I just caught it at 100 years depth, which makes no freaking sense. Uh, okay, well, I'm down to 146 of the baits now, and I think I'm doing pretty damn well on all categories of fish. I just haven't managed to get the one that I'm after. And what's this guy here? Oh, many different planets. All right, I'll stick him down there with all my other junk fish. But yeah, we're doing quite good. I still want that legendary colossal. It's taking time and a half, people. Time and a half. Oh, chums. I'm close to 100 bionic baits left. And uh, I, I, I don't know whether this fish freaking exists. I, I think um, whatever they've done... They've widened the sort of catch pool or something, because I would have thought I would have got it by now. I mean, I caught all the swamp fish, I've caught all the ice fish. I don't know why this one fish is being so elusive. I'm fishing at the largest of depths. I'm using the most tangible bait to hook myself a legendary. I'd say I'm getting maybe one in every 25 is being a legendary. But they're all different sizes, you know. I've even had the smallest of fish at legendary. It shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. They need to close down the spawning pool. I shouldn't be catching small fish at a hundred years. You know, it's they shouldn't like the pressure. Uh, mm. Not that it's real life or anything. Got another miss serpent, medium sized, from a hundred years. Point proven. The so chums. I think all I need to catch is the common shimmer tail, which is small, and then I need to catch this big fish that's behind me. One second, which is this one right here which is the legendary that I've been going for this whole time, which is the blind something or other. Okay, so, yeah, let's see if we can get him. We're still going for it. You know what, Jums? I think I might go and see if I can catch that common fish, because I'm getting a little bit bored. So there's my 70 hole. I've got a 50, well, a 60, sorry. And there's a 50. Heading over this way. Out on the landing pad. Around here. Through here. 40. And then we've got this little one over here, which is 25. Right, so if I then go onto my baits and take off, I've got 93 left. That's mental, isn't it? Right, -o. and um, I'm just going to put on some millworms. Millworms should do the trick. Or actually, in fact, I'm just going to not use any bait at all. There we go. Let's plop that in there. And you can see there are 24 U's. Let's see if we get lucky, people. Well, Jums, I was catching medium and large fish from this 25 hole, as well as small fish. But I was catching more mediums than small, so I've made a tiny little pond down here. I used my terrain manipulator and made this little pond. So here we go, let's just cast into there, and let's see how deep that is. 0 0.8 use. Yeah, if I catch anything medium or large or colossal in here, then something's definitely gone freaking wrong. We also don't have any bait on the line. Let's see if we can catch that really common small fish. Well, that looks like a small hologram, so it looks like this is kind of working still. Come on, get on that line, little fishy. I guess. We got it! First time! Common shimmer tail done! I guess from this lovely little rock pool that I just freaking made. Right, now there is only one fish remaining inside of the lush area, and that is that giant colossal freaking... Legendary. And uh, I'm having a right job trying to catch it. I'm in the deepest part of the ocean. It doesn't get any deeper than this. Whoop. There's no bait on the line. You know what? I'm just going to try it without any bait just for one cast and see if we get freaking super lucky. Uh, yeah, depth 110 U. You can see it flashing down in the bottom corner right there. Let's just see how this gets on with no freaking bait on the line, shall we? Come on. Come on, little fishy. I'm going to keep recording this one and we'll see what we get. Oh, it's a colossal. It's colossal. I saw a giant hologram. And it's on the line. It's taken a while to reel in. I don't say I'm going to catch it without any bait. 
Okay, we've got a common large. That's all right. Okay, right. There we go. Let's put the bait back on then. Bionic law, and we was on what 96 remaining. Uh, it looks like there was some in there. We're back up to 103. All right. Okay, we was on 90 something, but there we go. Okay, I continue on. Whoa, well, charms! I was getting to my wits end. Wits end, and now I've got it. The blind Titan core. It has been hooked. It has been. Doesn't mention that it's caught in storms or anything like that. No. Nope. Yeah, but I got it. The old man of the seas. Scared, blinded, still swimming on. We got him! We got him! I guess! Okay, okay. Well, if I go into the old Wonders catalogue now, go over to Fishing Records, and we go over where all the lush fishes are. Chikapow! I might just have to move myself off the screen for a second. So, where they start is at Shadowfin, and where they end is at the Blind Titan Core. Excellent! Eh? We've got them all. We've got them all, people. So that's on page what, four. And we've almost got a full sheet. We've got to move on to the next ones. I don't know what biome that is exactly. But yeah, we've still got loads more to go. Loads more biomes to cover. And I think I'm getting pretty darn at when it comes to fishing. I might be able to do my best at fishing tips at some stage, people. But yeah. Um, these, these bases are helping a lot and I'll have to do a little video on exactly how I'm putting these bases together they can be a little bit weird putting them together but yeah I've got all these bits in here to create lubricant so you can make yourself some bionic baits and things but anyway I think you get the idea I'm just doing different sort of like little mini fishing holes at different depths varying depths to help me catch the fish in question however I caught every single freaking lush fish at a hundred years of depth I know, it's, it's freaking mind-blowingly crazily weird, isn't it? It's, what the fudge? Boom. Yeah. So, chums, if you want to come and put your rod in my holes and catch some lovely fish inside of this lush planetary area, here you go. Here's the code in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm trying to get it so you can see every single glyph without it, that white line dissecting it. Okay, here we go. Let's put it down here. There we go. Boom. There you go. There's the actual portal glyphs. I'll make that a bit bigger on screen for you. Until next time. Cool yeah. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you in this video. So, yeah, uh, I've got the usuals over here as well. I've got like a place to sell fish or to refine them or even process them using a nutrient processor. But yeah, I have got a lot of junk fish inside of here. I mean, look at all these, this that I caught. I mean, I nearly used a whole stack of 500 of the lures this time around. Insane. Well, there we go. That's the, that's the full set of all the lush fish. And I also got a message in a bottle. Shall we unseal it? Shall we have a read? Oh, well, where, did, where, where did the message bloody go? <laughs> Is that it? Is that it here? Okay. A scrap, of, you know, jump over here. a scrap of paper recovered from the bottle found bobbing in the waters. The message it reads on. It's another beautiful day. This is the start of a beautiful adventure. So now I toss this note into the waves. A scrap of the past to give to the water. Coolio! There you go. That was a lovely little message to end off on, wasn't it? You guys in the viewers are freaking awesome. I guess you have. If you haven't hit subscribe, be even more awesome and hit that subscribe button. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.